Um, so today is a special day because um, it's Watchtower Victims Memorial Day. So we want to spread awareness of um, how many or uh, how so many people have been uh, affected negatively by this cult, which also you know explains why we're so passionate about exposing them and um, spreading you know the truth about it. The truth about the truth. We have a lot of flyers. Um, they're very, very touching, very sad. Uh, you can find them at WatchtowerVictimsMemorialDay.com. I hope y'all can hear me. It's kind of windy out here, but um, I've got my kids with me. So um, we came to campus. Thought I'd kind of post them up on some bulletin boards. And there's no cultists here today, so clean campus. I don't know. They may have been here earlier, but. Um, Thank you, Trisha, for my hat. Uh, proud, proud apostate, which means an escaped slave, if you look it up. Um, someone who's left their former religion, but the JWs would see that as someone who's evil, on Satan's side, mentally diseased, and wants to ruin their lives. <laughs> so, which is really sad because with clear eyes, you can see that it's um, simply people who were brave enough, lucky enough um, to walk away, despite the repercussions that came with it, losing their families, losing their, um, their friends, uh, some even you know, losing, taking their lives because it, it's such a hard thing for them to, to deal with. So we're going to try and spread some awareness today. Okay, like this. Okay, so this one. This one says, In loving honor, this is dedicated to all the children of Jehovah's Witnesses who face shunning in their own congregation because of members, um, because other members have judged them as not doing enough or live, not living up to improper man-made standards. To all the faithful and obedient children who sacrifice holidays, birthdays, outside friends, beloved family, higher education, freedom of expression, and so much more, and who endure ridicule and bullying from schoolmates, but who are still ostracized and isolated inside your own congregation. We feel your heartache. Please know you are not alone, and we honor you on this special day. These are really good, especially for Philippines who wants to make it. Uh, okay. V-A-A-A. So this one says, this memorial is left in honor of all the women who have sacrificed their health, safety, and even their very lives to the domestic violence within the congregations of Jehovah's Witnesses. For those who have suffered physical, verbal, and sexual abuse, we remember and honor you on this special day. So we're going to put this one up here. I'm trying to cover other people's stuff, but it's going to be kind of hard. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just got one. Okay. Um, I'm going to put one more. Ready this one, This memorial is left in honor of all the children who have endured physical, verbal, and emotional abuse within their own home. For those who have to sacrifice so much, we remember and honor you on this special day. and be more loving to their abusers and may even be blamed for the atrocities suffered. 
Oh my gosh. But we do. You are remembered. Well, there were no cult cultists today, but we placed a ton of, well, maybe that's an exaggeration, <laughs> posted like maybe 10 flyers um, and a bunch of cards on the bulletin boards, and it was pretty busy. They were, um, having, they were having orientation for the college, so uh, hopefully some people will see it and maybe somebody will take the card and, you know, look up the website. <laughs> The apostate website. I know that uh, a lot of the activists are uh, and XJWs are taking some flowers and leaving them at the Kingdom Halls with the, one of these notes, which I think is a wonderful idea. What I'd really like is if somebody could kind of stand by and film what they do with it. Uh, if they take it in the Kingdom Hall or if they take it out back to the dump because they're going to have to do something with it and they're not going to want their members to see or to ask about it. So I'm kind of thinking about doing that myself, but it'd be kind of hard because uh, I don't want my kids to be bored sitting in here with me while I'm my binoculars camera. Um, but it would be interesting to do and it doesn't have to be done today. Uh, it could be done any day, so it might be something to think about.